Hi there, and thanks for joining me as I talk about the antacids. Magnesium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide, or aluminum hydroxide in the United States, are orally taken antacids that from the pool of antacids that we have, they've got the least side effects because they don't have too much systemic absorption. Antacids are freely available over the counter and they're taken by people to reduce the stomach acid in conditions such as gastroesophageal reflux disease or when there's just too much of a production of acid. So recall that our average drug works on receptors. Normally we take a drug and it actually works on some receptors in the cells of the body. In the case of antacids, it's not going to work on receptors at all. It's actually going to work by simple chemical reaction. It's actually going to just neutralize the acid. So let's take, for instance, the magnesium hydroxide as an example. Magnesium hydroxide comes down into the stomach as magnesium hydroxide. The hydroxide breaks off, disassociates from the magnesium, and then it picks up a couple of the hydrogen ions, and then that becomes water. So we've neutralized those two hydrogen ions. What's remaining in that case is magnesium, and it combines with the chloride, so it becomes magnesium chloride. And very little of that is actually absorbed. What the magnesium actually does, though, is actually stays intact and it acts as an osmotically active particle. It actually goes down through the gastrointestinal tract, saying, sucking in water into the lumen of the gastrointestinal tract. So what ends up happening? We've got diarrhea. The result of magnesium hydroxide antacids is going to be uh, diarrhea and that's probably the biggest drawback of the magnesium antacids. Those magnesium antacids are probably the best except for that. For aluminum hydroxide or aluminum hydroxide in the United States, the hydroxide portion of it once again disassociates from the aluminum and then that picks up a couple of the hydrogen ions and goes off as water. So once again, we've neutralized the environment. What we're remaining, what's remaining in that case is going to be the aluminum and it's gonna combine with a chloride ion and that causes constipation. So remember, magnesium is going to cause diarrhea, aluminum is going to cause constipation Oftentimes, we actually combine the two and actually uh, form one that doesn't have too much of an effect at all on GIT. Aluminium hydroxide is going to be able to be protective to the stomach in some instances. So, for instance, it's protective in the case of toxins such as alcohol. So, it does have that protective effect and also aluminum antacids have an ability to bind phosphate. Usually that doesn't have much of an effect, an adverse effect, and as a matter of fact, in people with renal disease, uh, oftentimes they have to take things that bind phosphorus. But for the normal person, it could get problematic if the person takes too much of the aluminum antacids because what happens there is that it binds too much phosphorus and then your calcium phosphorus balance goes out of whack and that's bad for bones. Oftentimes, because of the fact that antacids are freely available over the counter, people think, oh, it doesn't have any side effects. But I do want you to remember that it does have side effects because of the fact that there's a neutral environment and we're made to have an acidic environment, gastrin is going to be secreted and gastrin is going to actually go over to the parietal cells and stimulate more acid secretion. Now that's a problem because as you've taken the antacid, it's neutralized the acidity there. Then the 
antacid is starting to wear off and you're actually getting a higher amount of acid in your stomach than you had before you took the antacid. So that can get problematic because then the person says, I need another antacid and it goes around in circles, gets even worse and can actually cause uh, alterations in pH within the body and not just in the stomach. And now you know that magnesium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide or aluminum hydroxide in the United States are orally taken antacids that have the least amount of side effects of all of our antacids. The reason that they have the least side effects is because very little of them is actually absorbed. First place for antacids goes to magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide does have the possibility though of causing diarrhea. Second place goes to the combination of magnesium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide because of the fact that aluminium hydroxide causes constipation. Together, those will actually have no effect on GIT. And then third place is going to go to the aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide has the adverse effect of binding phosphorus in the, in the diet, which on the long term can actually result in imbalances between the calcium and phosphorus and thereby affecting bone health. <music>